There were jokes about the reliability of the first Land Rover Discovery, the essence of which was that this SUV could break down anywhere and anytime. But the third generation of the model refutes these rumors. The appearance of the third generation of Land Rover Discovery marked a qualitative leap in consumer and driving properties of the model. From a utilitarian all-terrain vehicle, he turned into a noble SUV and became his own among classmates in the premium segment. Looking ahead, I will say that with reliability, things have become noticeably better for him. The SUV turned out to be equally good on the highway and on heavy off-road. Discovery 3 has a reinforced monocoque body and fully independent suspensions on all wheels, hence the light habits on the pavement, plus permanent all-wheel drive with traction distribution by means of an electronically controlled clutch between the front and rear axles in the proportion of 40 and 60 percent. There is a transfer case with a reduction gear and locking center and, as an option, rear differentials. Off-road, the terrain response system, depending on the selected mode, one of five, slows down the slipping wheels, transferring traction to those that have better grip, includes, if necessary, downshift, and, if necessary, locks the differentials. There are three powertrains in the Discovery 3 engine range, a 4.0-liter V6 petrol, 218 horsepower, and a 4.4-liter V8, 300 horsepower, as well as a 2.7-liter V6 turbo diesel, 190 horsepower. With, for the diesel version, six-speed manual and automatic transmissions were provided. Petrol modifications were equipped only with an automatic. In Ukraine, Discovery was officially sold with a V8 and a turbo diesel. In the secondary market, mainly dealer versions are presented, and they are very generously stocked. Our SUV was sold in three basic trim levels. The initial version of the S meant a diesel engine with mechanics and a spring suspension, as well as air conditioning, power accessories, heated windows and mirrors, a stabilization system, alloy wheels, and six airbags. The SE variant had air suspension and terrain response, climate control, parking sensors, and xenon headlights. And the top and HSE equipment was complemented by leather trim, cruise control, and an expensive audio system. Power and heated seats, a rear differential lock, climate control for rear passengers, and swiveling xenon headlights were offered as options for this version. The best seller of the Ukrainian market and not only can be considered Discovery 2.7 TDI. Modifications of Disco with the gasoline V8 are quite rare in our country. And the petrol V6, borrowed from Ford, was placed only on cars for the USA and Australia. According to mechanics, the resource of the turbo diesel, developed jointly with PSA Peugeot Citroën, is 500,000 kilometers or more. According to the regulations, timing belt is supposed to be changed after 167,000 kilometers, or 100,000 miles. However, servicemen recommend doing this every 120,000 kilometers. From soot and sulfur, the valve of the exhaust gas recirculation system EGR sours. If the engine starts poorly and loses power, prepare money. Sensitive to fuel quality and injection nozzles, which serve more than 100,000 kilometers. The same is true for glow plugs. Due to the poor lubricating properties of diesel fuel, the injection pump fails. The Jaguar Petrol 8 with an aluminum cylinder block is equipped with the chain in the timing drive. There are almost no serious problems with this motor. Unless oil seals and gaskets flow after 110,000 km, fuel pumps, ignition coils, injection nozzles and throttle servo occasionally fail. In an automatic transmission, after 100,000 km, the torque converter wears out. If zeroing errors in its control unit does not help, change the friction pair of the torque converter. The oil in the box is changed every 120,000 kilometers. If the rear differential lock has failed, the servo motor of its drive is probably to blame. The mechanical part of the suspension is reliable. At risk are the rear silent blocks of the front levers. They change in pairs. The lower ball joints after 2007 became more durable. Ball spacer bushings, SHRV of the rear levers can withstand 70 to 80,000 kilometers. At the same time, they will ask for replacement wheel bearings. Engine. On our common turbo diesel, the fuel pump failed, which was replaced under warranty. Since 2007, the injection pump has become more durable. At risk are injection nozzles, glow plugs. Gasoline V8 is generally more reliable. Transmission. On ZF6 HP machines, the torque converter wears out quickly and seals leak refuses the rear differential lock motor and transfer case. 
Suspension. After 2007, many elements of the front suspension have become more reliable and are guaranteed to last 80,000 kilometers. Air suspension is expensive to maintain, but will require intervention no earlier than five to six years of operation. The rear suspension holds up well up to 100,000 kilometers. By this time, only the struts and stabilizer bushings have to be changed. Do not forget about the compressor, located next to the left wheel, which is often jammed on a lift or off-road. On our common turbo diesel, the fuel pump failed, which was replaced under warranty. Since 2007, the injection pump has become more durable. At risk are injection nozzles, glow plugs. Gasoline V8 is generally more reliable.